Hello, Gemini viewers. I'm going to just get right into the reading. Um, I am still doing private readings as well. So if you'd like a private reading, my email is below. It's dragonenchantress at awol.com. You can find that in the description box. Please comment, even just comment a heart reaction or like the video. It really does help me. Any kind of engagement helps me get back into the YouTube algorithm. So I appreciate that a lot. But yeah, let's get into the reading. Let's see what the cards want to say. Seven of Swords, Seven of Cups, the Emperor, the Empress. Wow, the Emperor and Empress together. Hmm. I want to say this is somebody that you're considering giving another chance to, but it feels like they betrayed you. But let me get more cards so I can get more details on this. But that's like, that's the ultimate couple. I mean, the Emperor is all four kings combined. The Empress is all four queens combined. That's, that's like the ultimate power couple. So I feel like this is somebody that you saw as the one. Like you saw this person as, you know, like a twin flame or higher level, higher level soulmate. You saw this person as, you know, your end-all, be-all. But I feel like something that they've done has put you in your head a little bit. Because with Seven of Swords, that's like running away, dishonesty, escapism. It's, it's sneaky energy. And so now it's like you have this choice to make. Do you want to go back to this energy or do you want something new? The moon, secrets, hmm. queen of pentacles. Eight of Cups, King of Cups, it's interesting, King of Pentacles, I feel like you have, okay, this is a really interesting energy, Queen of Swords, Ten of Wands, okay, oops, sorry about that. Let me put these all in focus so you can see them. Okay, I just want to say, and I'm not going to freak, I don't want to freak anybody out with like the black magic talk. And it's, it's one of those things, you don't need to go to an expensive psychic or healer to remove black magic. You can do it yourself. Like you can, you can clear that energy off of you. If you're aware, if you're spiritual, if you're in tune, if you're in your power, if you want to step into your power, you're able to clear that energy off you. But for some of you, I feel like someone was doing black magic on you and it might have worked for some of you to an extent. But again, nothing to be afraid of. It's just something that needs to be addressed, something that needs to be cleared away. I'm just feeling that energy because for those of you that have been following me, so the last Gemini I video I did a couple weeks ago, I was feeling that there was an ex who was basically spiritually lazy. I feel like they just were not on your level. I feel like you were more advanced than them. You probably had to make excuses for them to friends and family. Uh, I feel like there might have been cheating. There might have been some kind of betrayal. And I feel like you pretty much moved on from this person and you've been trying to manifest somebody new. And I was getting that energy that, you know, they were bitter and jealous and they felt like very possessive. Like they felt like they had a claim on you because they put, you know, time and energy into the connection. Some of them were doing black magic to try to get you back and try to separate you from the person you're you're currently dealing with or the person you're trying to manifest. Um, but I, in that reading I did a couple weeks ago, I really didn't feel like you wanted that person back. I feel like you kind of saw through them. Like you, you know, you saw that they were bitter, jealous. You saw that they were kind of lazy, that they weren't, um, basically that they weren't, like it wasn't going anywhere with them. Like you knew that you didn't want it. And that's why I'm considering if maybe the black magic did work for some of you. Because in this reading, the current energy I'm getting is that you guys might actually be considering that person more. Like there's somebody... There's somebody that you didn't want that you're like, you know, I need to be done with this. And now it's like you're kind of opening up to the idea of them more. So 
And it's not always black magic. You got to use your discernment. But just for those of you that like had a toxic ex where you're like, you know what? I don't want this anymore. I'm completely done with this. If you're finding yourself just suddenly like thinking about them all the time and missing them, but it doesn't feel right to you on a soul level, you're like, why am I obsessed with this person? Why am I dreaming about them? Why am I thinking about them all the time? Like, what is this energy? Like, I know I don't want this person. I know I want to be done with this person. Like, what is making me feel so tied to them? Like, I don't understand it, you know? So so that's when you kind of have to look in and see if there's some kind of, you know, binding spells or anything being done that, that might be making you feel this con connected to this person that you want to move on from. And again, it's not something to freak out about. It's something that you can clear on your own. It, it's not, you know what I mean? Like, it's not going to hold you back. They're not, they're not going to hurt you. You're going to be, you're safe, you're protected, you're divinely guided, but it still needs to be addressed. It's not something that you want to just ignore. You know what I mean? Um, because, yeah, in this spread, I'm getting that you are considering, you're, you're kind of in your head, you are considering someone from the past that maybe, you know, not too long ago you were you were done with and now you're opening up to it again. And for all of you, I don't want to say it's black magic for all of you. For some, this is genuinely just you missing, like you have to use your discernment. Like you can tell if it's black magic, usually, like I said, when it just, when you know that you don't want the person, but you're like attached to them. Like I had a situation like that. Um that I was in over the, um, God, what, what, what that was like fall or something, but it was someone where I was like, I was like, I would not want this guy. Like this guy is like living on his friend's couch. Like I'm completely in love with somebody else. Like I know, like, I know like, like this guy, like doesn't have a job. He's on his friend's couch. He's leechy. He's like, and I'm completely in love with and devoted to somebody else. I'm like, I know I don't want this guy. And it turns out it was, you know, black magic. And it was, there was, you know, demonic energies involved. And when that energy cleared, I was just like, oh, like, hell no, I don't, I know it. Like, I knew I didn't want that. You know what I mean? Like, I knew that was not actually my person. But, you know, he did black magic to try to, like, convince me that he was. And for a while, I was, I was just like, I was like felt like attached to him but I'm like I don't know why like you wouldn't you know like he wasn't a good person you know what I mean he was just and he had like I think he probably had multiple women that he was doing that on but anyway it, it's one of those situations where where I mean I'm just giving that as like an example where it's like you might have one of those situations where you're like why am I why am I missing this person that like hit me or abused me or, um, you know, like I know that I'm over them. Like what's like what's going on with that? So that's when you have to like really look and consider like, hey, maybe there is black magic going on here. Like maybe there is something off here for others. You know, for, for some, it is genuine. I don't want to say it's black magic for all of you. For others, I feel like this is just for others. I feel like this is not them necessarily doing magic, but them just putting a lot of energy and intention into manifesting you like they might not actually be sitting down and like lighting a candle or doing anything like that it might just be that they're like obsessing over you to the point where you're feeling that and you need to cut the cords between the two of you so you're not picking up on their energy and vice versa anymore like if you're really done with somebody that's when you want to do a cut and clear ritual on them but um anyway yeah, for a lot of you, it just feels like you're really in your head about something like you're in your head about giving someone a second chance or do you want new love? Do you want something new, someone that you just started dating or someone that, um, you know, you're trying to manifest? Because if if this is resonating with you, I would go back and watch my Gemini video that I did a couple weeks ago, too. Because I was talking about the, how this person sort of pretended to be someone they're not like they pretended to be. um like you were manifesting someone, you were manifesting, I think it was like a king of cups or king of pentacles type. And this toxic person was like, like energetically, like intervening and trying to block that from happening, like block you from meeting that person. But but yeah, the energy I get basically now is like, you're kind of in your head, you have multiple options. It's like, do you want to be single and just focus on yourself and finances and abundance? Do you want to be with this person with this person? This could almost be like a polyamorous situation because like, damn, there's a lot of people here. There's two queens and two kings here. Like, I don't know if this is like somebody that's bisexual and you've got like a lot of different options, but you have at least two people here, if not more. Um, 
that are interested in you. Like you, you have you have multiple options here. Queen of and for some of you, I feel like the Queen of Swords is you, male or female. But I feel like this is somebody that's. It's like you're standing your ground. You're you're putting yourself first. You're you're letting go of these heavy burdens. Can you tell me more about this energy? Nine of Swords, Nine of Wands. Yeah, I feel like you're so torn because it's like you're nostalgic. You miss this person from your past and it's giving you anxiety too because it's like you know it's going to be another battle with this person you know what I mean like you want to open up to them again but you know that if you open up it's like it's going to be like you don't trust it you know what I mean like you don't trust that they're not going to do the same like that they're not going to cheat again or that they're not going to be lazy again or they're not going to take you for granted again whatever they did it's like you don't trust that they're really going to be out of that energy so I feel like you're having this anxiety because on one hand you know you really miss them six of cups it's like nostalgia longing like you really kind of want to be back with them again nine of wands though is like it's 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 another fight it's another battle you know, it's like one last battle to fight. So you're kind of like on the fence. You're like, well, if I give in to these feelings, if I give in to this nostalgia and this emotion, is this person just going to put me through the same shit again? Like, is it just going to be the same heartbreak, the same cycle over again? That's why you have to clear yourself too, so that you can know, you know, when your feelings are genuine and when it's just black magic. Because if you guys have any doubt that it could be black magic, you want to you wanna clear yourself, you know? Because like, like that guy that I mentioned where it was like, you know, like I said, he was like living on his friend's couch. He was very leechy. He like borrowed money from people all the time. Um, and like, I knew like I was not resonating with him. I even told my best friend, I'm like, this, like, this guy isn't like my type. Like, I don't, you know, like I'm not into this. Um, and I was, you know, and I also, you know, very deeply in love with somebody else. So, but like, once I cleared that black magic, I was able to like get in touch with my own feelings. I was like, oh yeah, like hell no, I don't want that. I was like done with that guy and like, like I was just over it in less than a week. I was like, oh, like, no, like I, I completely detached from him where I was like, no, I, I knew I wasn't interested in you. I knew I wasn't your type. I know I knew you were not, you know, for me. Um, and my genuine feelings came back like, like I was able to like think clearly, you know what I mean? So it, it's like if you're in that situation, you got to clear the energy so you can actually before you make a decision you have to you'll have to make sure you're using your intuition and you're going off your genuine feelings that are, aren't a result of someone, um, you know, trying to manifest you back or someone, you know, doing black magic on you to try to control you. And for some, it's not that case. I don't want to I don't want to freak everybody out. Like for some, it's really not that case. It could just be that this person's missing you a lot to the point where it almost seems like magic because it's like they're just sitting there just thinking about you all the time just like crying over you missing you just just constantly like wanting to this could be like somebody that you had a long relationship with like an ex you know and this person might just be thinking about you like all the time like their world just completely revolves around you and you know so for some of you it's, it's like they're not actually doing black magic they're just they're so you know they're so attached to you that you just, you feel that through the energetic cords between the two of you, you know, like you're able to feel their depression. You're able to feel how much they're longing for you. And then it's, it's kind of pulling on your heartstrings a little bit, but, um, either way you need to ground yourself and you need to clear your energy and you need to get in touch with your genuine emotions so that you can make these decisions because you have two or more people that you can choose from here. There's someone from the past, but there's also new people that have already come in and new people that are going to continue to come in that you can choose from. So it's, it's kind of like it's whatever you want. But but yeah, get back in touch with your intuition first, because right now, like I said, it's like you're on the fence where you're like having that anxiety, you know, you're like, well, I don't know if this person's going to betray me again. But on the one hand, I do really miss them. I don't know if I can trust that it's going to be different this time. Strength. Two of Swords. Yeah, you need that strength to to have this new perspective. And it's basically just reiterating what I'm saying, you know, just about clearing your energy and, you know, 
making sure you're tapping into your genuine emotions. Because I might be speaking to people in this energy group that are very empathic. So it's like you might have a hard time separating your emotions from other people's. So it's like you need to kind of ground yourself. Maybe even go on a... Um, I'm hearing like like a retreat, like maybe like, not a retreat, but like go out in like nature. Like I don't know if there's like woods near you, like if there's like redwood trees or anything like that. Um, just just go be out in nature for like even even a couple hours, but like preferably like a couple days, like two or three days. You know, do the clearing work. Just just get back in touch with yourself so you can make clear decisions. Because right now I feel like you're not able to really um, think intuitively, you know what I mean? Like you have so much energy around you and I feel like you might almost be mixing the energy up too, because it's like, on one hand, you have this ex that's coming back. That's like, you know, missing you, longing for you, pulling on your energy, but you also have new people co like coming in. I feel like some of them are already here. Some of them, there might be more people that you're meeting. I feel like you might've been manifesting love and it's like manifesting all at once for you. Like you might have put the energy in where you're like, I want someone who's like this and this and this. And you put that energy in for like months or years. And now just all at once, it's all coming in. So you have so many different options and you're like, oh, like, damn, like, what do I do? And so I feel like this energy might actually be giving you some anxiety because it's like you're channeling and picking up on the energies of all these different people. And you know what I mean? Like you're, you might be getting them mixed up too. Like you might, you know what I mean? Like you have to kind of ground yourself to, to recognize who's who, like who's really for you and who's not really genuinely resonating with you. Like you got to kind of just take, you know, a few days away just from everybody just to ground yourself in and find those answers and get in touch with your true feelings. Because right now I feel like there's this energy, like, especially with the moon, there's this energy of like illusion around. It's like this, this cloudiness that needs to be cleared before you make any, you know, big life altering decisions here. Tell me more about this X. Three of cups, the hermit reversed, king of wands. I feel like this person might've cheated for some of you. Hmm. I also feel like this is some, let me see here. I don't want to speak too soon here. Let me see. Let me pull some more cards to clarify, actually. King of Wands, Queen of Wands. Okay. I feel like this is somebody who cheated, but it's like they're trying to... So with the three of cups it can sometimes especially if it's reversed but I mean in, the, in this context it does feel like I still see it as like talking about like cheating I feel like this is somebody who like they want to give you that commitment but I feel like they lack the stability like they're not grounded enough to give you that commitment you know what I mean I feel like they're coming out of hermit mode, though, because they want to be your equal. They want to match you. Page of Swords. Three of Wands, Two of Wands. It's like wanting to build something with you. It's like you're trying to heal, though. You're not really trying to do this again, I don't think. That's what I said. You just, you know, you have to, you have to ground yourself and you have to, the answers are going to come to you right now. The energy, there's so much anxiety. There's so much frantic energy. There's so many different people that you're picking up on energetically where you have to step back from everybody and you, you don't have to like distance yourself. It's not, I'm not saying that you need to like flake on anybody or tell anybody that you can't see them or anything like that. I'm just saying like, maybe go away, like you know, go someplace where it's going to be just you for a couple days. Just go, whether it's like a rant, like, like pr probably out in nature. Like I wouldn't go to like a big city cause that's just going to be more anxiety. But I mean, like if you can go to like a ranch or like someplace like out in the woods, out in nature where you can just like meditate and ground yourself and just heal and just think clearly and clear that old energy out, you know, doing like uncrossing and road opening, then, you know, I think that you're, I think you're going to, 
get the answers that you're seeking. You know what I mean? Right now, it's like you're going in circles with all this anxiety and different energies you're picking up on. But if you ground yourself, you're going to be able to, to figure out what's right for you. Five of Pentacles. The Tower. Eight of Swords. Hmm. I feel like you're coming out of financial difficulties too because I feel like with the Five of Pentacles and the Tower, it's like there was some kind of... For some, this is finances. For others, it's just it's just reiterating about the anxiety, like the Tower moment, just all the heavy energy right now. Eight of Swords, it, like, it kind of left you feeling trapped, feeling confused. And it's just reiterating what I was just saying. Basically, like with the Sun is, is just if you clear that energy, you're going to have, you know, the most positive card in the deck, the Sun. You're going to be able to move forward and you're going to know which direction. Right now, you, you have no idea which direction to go. But if you if you do the thing that I talked about, like, you know, clearing your energy, grounding yourself, being out in nature for a little bit, just just getting back in touch with your emotions. Basically, you're feeling other people's emotions right now. And so you have to you have to search and find your own emotions again you have to reconnect with yourself and that's when you're going to have that clarity and that ability to move forward with the sun the most positive card in the deck you know you're going to know what's right for you you're going to know what you want to do next once you you get back in touch with yourself so anyway i hope this made sense and please comment if this resonates just even just a heart comment below it, or liking the video just anything like that really helps a lot because it gets YouTube to promote my videos again to, you know, back in the algorithm. So I really appreciate it. Thank you guys for the engagement. And like I said, if you want a private reading, just email me. And I appreciate you guys watching. Thanks.